Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we're going to be talking about diatomaceous earth for chickens, why and how to use it properly. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description below, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg-laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So if you're looking for natural ways to treat your flock of parasites, you may wanna add to your care plan diatomaceous earth for chickens. More and more chicken owners have jumped on board with natural methods in coop care in the recent years. Luckily, more research is conducted every year to use this ancient substance to prevent external parasites on our chickens. Now, before I go into how to use it, our choice of diatomaceous earth for chickens is Harris diatomaceous earth food grade, five pound with powder duster included in the bag. So let's answer the question, what is diatomaceous earth? The name diatomaceous earth sounds like a really intense sand or a chemical substance, but according to the National Pesticide Information Center, diatomaceous earth is made from the fossilized remains of tiny aquatic organisms called diatoms. Their skeletons are made of a natural substance called silica. Over a long period, diatoms accumulate in the sediment of rivers, streams, lakes, and oceans. Today, silica deposits are mined from these areas. In other words, this silty powder is old. Furthermore, the powder when examined under a microscope is quite sharp actually. Its sharpness and fineness make it an extremely drying substance. This is why it works well for killing unwanted parasites in your chicken coop. It dries and cuts the parasites even through the exoskeleton of the parasite. So you may be asking why use diatomaceous sir, for chickens? If you're not using chemical parasite removal products on your chickens, adding diatomaceous earth to your routine maintenance plan can help cut down the need to douse your birds with toxic chemicals. With that being said, you should use DE mainly as a preventative in your chicken coop rather than a response to a full-fledged infestation. You can also provide diatomaceous earth for chickens in the form of a mixed dust bath so your chickens can roll around in it whenever they feel the need to self-manage their external ride along. In short, Using diatomaceous earth for chickens in place of other external parasite preventatives means you're cutting down on unnecessary chemical usage and allowing your chickens to care for themselves naturally. Now, let's address the safety concerns of using DE with chickens. While using diatomaceous earth, is a natural way of preventing parasites for your chickens. There's still some safety concerns to be aware of. Since DE is fine and sharp, if it's inhaled, it can, can cause respiratory distress in both you and your chickens. Because of that, it's wise to remove all your chickens from the coop before dusting. And don't forget to wear a mask to keep your lungs safe from fine DE particles. You'll notice that we're not talking about dusting chickens directly. Inhalation risks are the main reason for that. One of the things you want to avoid is avoid direct application of DE. Some swear by the direct application of diatomaceous earth to their chickens. Still, due to its drying characteristics and ability to cause respiratory issues, we feel it's safer to use it as an indirect form of prevention in your chicken coop. Second, it's imperative to ensure you selected the food grade version of diatomaceous earth for chickens when working with them. Another version of DE is often used as a filtration method for swimming pools and water filters. According to Ingredi.com, pool grade diatomaceous earth is calcined, meaning it has been heat treated and activated for use in filters. The high temperatures further harden the diatom exoskeletons, creating a better filtering agent. This process also turns the silicone dioxide within the DE into crystalline silica. Some calcined DE products, including pool grade diatomaceous earth, can contain high concentrations. Because crystalline silica is dangerous and can be harmful to both humans and animal health, pool or filter grade diatomaceous earth should only ever be used for filtration. Now, let's talk about why you should only use food grade DE. In other words, the DE used in filtration systems has been altered, so always make sure you're only using the food grade of diatomaceous earth. Lastly, when using diatomaceous earth on the floor of your coop, ensure plenty of bedding on top of the diatomaceous earth. Unfortunately, the drying effect of DE can cause cracking on the bottom of your chicken's feet if they are in direct contact with it. This can lead to cracks and wounds on their feet and even infections such as bumblefoot. If you wanna know more about bumblefoot, we've put together an article on that. I can link to that in the description. And be sure to have a generous layer of bedding between diatomaceous earth and your chickens. Now, should you use diatomaceous earth internally with your chickens? 
Now, when it comes to feeding your chickens this substance, the efficacy is currently unproven. Some believe that the sharpness of the diatomaceous earth particles will slice and kill the parasites inside of the birds. However, others believe that the drying and slicing characteristics of DE are ineffective when introduced to so much moisture i.e. in the chicken's digestive system. Furthermore, there is little research on the safety of using it for your chickens as consumption, so tread lightly before you decide to feed it to them. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to use diatomaceous earth for your chickens. Now, when placing your yearly care for your flock, here's how you're gonna do it. Number one, remove the flock from the coop. Remember, your chickens cannot inhale the particles of DE without having respiratory distress, so make sure everyone has moved a safe distance from the coop before you go to work on dusting it. Number two, clean the soil bedding from the coop. Make sure you remove all the old bedding that has poop or dirt and dispose of it far from your chicken's home. Tag along parasites actually can grab onto anything and will find their way back into your coop. And this is why you wanna throw that bedding out. Number three, allow the coop to dry. If you can afford to keep your chickens in a temporary space for a day or so, allow the flooring of your coop to dry naturally before adding a DE. This ensures the DE will have the best chance of coming into contact with any existing parasites. Number four, wear a mask and eyewear. You don't wanna inhale this as it will cause respiratory distress so make sure you have a mask and eyewear to prevent that number five open windows any kind of ventilation whatsoever if there is any way to ventilate you know open all the doors windows latches all that stuff in the coop to let uh, some fresh air in before you begin spreading diatomaceous earth number six spread the diatomaceous earth use a scoop and spread the food grade diatomaceous earth in every nook and cranny of your coop Focus directly on the floor and any wood in the coop. This is where red poultry mites actually hang out. And don't forget to clean and dust the roosts in your coop, also a favorite place for mites. And now number seven, rebed the coop. Once you put the DE in the coop and it's settled and the coop is clean, it's time to rebed. Number eight, check for parasite. Before you add your chickens back to the coop, make sure you check them so you don't have to do this whole process all over again. If needed, you can spray your chickens with essential oil-based solution to kill existing external parasites before introducing them to their newly clean coop. On the other hand, if the infestation is full blown, a chemical spray may be the best option to save your flock. And lastly, number nine, welcome them home. So once you've rebedded it, once you've checked the chickens and you made sure that all the DE has settled after you've put it everywhere, bring them home, bring them into, back into the coop and resume business as usual. Now, I'm also gonna tell you how to make a dust bath with diatomaceous earth. So nothing gets overlooked more than a dust bath. And when it comes to caring for chickens, in fact, a dust bath is one of the best ways to help your chickens manage external parasites and body oils on their own. If you've ever let your chickens out of the coop and watch them dash for a sun silty spot to fluff about in, then you'll know they'll appreciate an easily accessible dust bath. But if you'd like to, you can make a dust bath of DE and we'd recommend mixing fine dirt from your property with a small amount of it. As you know, chickens love to kick up dust when they're bathing. So it's important to manage the amount of diatomaceous earth in their bath so they do not develop any respiratory distress. So in conclusion, you can use food grade, food grade only diatomaceous earth to prevent external parasites from getting out of control naturally. Staying ahead of the ball when it comes to any parasite is the key to saving your flock. While we don't recommend directly applying DE directly to your chickens, it's a safe tool to use on surfaces your chickens come in contact with. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.